Great. Hello, and welcome back to the Crossword Vlog, aka Clog, Saturday edition. And yeah, this streak just keeps on going edition. Um, haven't been doing many uh, midweek videos, but uh, Friday yesterday wasn't my favorite, but uh, you know, it went done quickly enough. I think it was like a 30 minute or so solve. Um, so I'm hoping I can do something like that for this Saturday. Um, <laughs> hopefully there won't be as much nasty fill, um, and instead we just get a nice, clean, but hopefully challenging Saturday puzzle. Um, and, you know, as is tradition, let me take a sip of the coffee. And actually, this is not tradition, but all right. <laughs> you'll never know what just happened there. Um, nothing suspicious, I promise. All right, the crossword should start now. Wow, this is a very long grid. Um, all right, let's get started. U.S. holiday beginning in 2021. Um, interesting, I'm not actually sure. Uh, one standing by a door, maybe like a sign by a door or something. Not super familiar with Orenburg, to be honest. Um, here, one sec. I actually, there's a very loud fan happening in the background, and I'm going to take you on a journey while I fix that. Um, <laughs> you know, this is a very professional... Uh, operation. So I'm just going to leave this part in the video, I guess. Um, let me just close that. Hopefully you can hear this fan so you know that I'm not um, just making up stories. All right. Well, I'll just do that and hope for the best. Here, I'm just going to put this here so it stops bothering me. Okay. You know, the key to a Saturday puzzle is your environment, you know? <laughs> you gotta have a good, peaceful environment in order to solve the Saturday. Let's go. Um, so, title setting of an Agatha Christie mystery. I know there's Murder on the Nile or something like that, and then there's and then there were none, but she wrote a bunch, so. Um, concerned with Beauty. I, I wonder if that's aesthetic. Aesthetic. Okay, I can't spell. So <laughs> even if that's right, uh, I'll need to get some more crosses in order to answer that. A time to die. Uh, Easter. He die Easter eggs. Um, four letter sport where masks are worn. Not sure. Um, work. No clue. The Claremont Colleges. Oh, gosh. This is a California thing, I think. Um, oh, I'm not going to be able to come up with it off the top of my head. Jumps out. Might end with an S. Maybe not. Um, Pifero. Are these like Cherimia? I don't know what that is. Okay, bluish gray pet. Uh, interesting. I'm trying to think of maybe some sort of like cat or something. I know like Russian something cats are sometimes described as bluish gray. I guess you get mist near a waterfall. Up for a drive. Hmm. I wonder if this has to do with uh, driving golf balls or something. Maybe teed? Teed up for a drive? Oh, Epe, um, the fencing sport. You do wear masks in addition to other body armor to not actually get stabbed. And then this probably ends with ED, because improved past tense. Something that isn't assumed. Okay. All right, let's just keep going. 
They form lines for their work. Uh, form lines. Form lines. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe like, no, I think this is too far off, but like sewing or something, like you hem a line into something. Um, walk like an elephant. I was going to think like stomp, but obviously that doesn't quite fit. High degree. Uh, this could be like, maybe like a PhD or something. Used for freeloading. I, I'm wondering if it would be something off of, like mooched off of. Let's test that theory. Horror movie action and slapstick humor. Hmm, there aren't that many horror movie franchises. You know, you can think of like Saw, there's Scary Movie, there's Scream. But none of those quite make sense here. TV bar. Oh, that was over here. Um, move swiftly. I think this would be bogs, peat sources. A peat bog has, you know, <laughs> peat in it, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. Um, so that, there goes the off of theory. Jump on board. I wonder if this is some gymnastics thing. Shoe that can't be 32 across. Um, okay, well, <laughs> I'll need to get a few letters to parse that out. Uh, sold by the yard. I mean, <laughs> usually you think of like fabric or something, but it doesn't quite fit. Um, could this be OPEC? That would be a bit um, surprising, but maybe that's the whole point of the, the clue. Uh, it's the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, and you would imagine that most of them are from the Middle East, but I guess there's probably oil in Africa. Weakish hands. wonder if it's a poker thing. Uh, Self-driving car company. There's Waymo. That, was, that started at Google. Uh, puts one and one together. Not sure. Knock dead could be slay. Hope for a result could be like aim, maybe. Like what's your aim? What's your hoped for result? This would probably be laced, and a croc can't be laced. There we go. Um, just thinking S here. Um, pairs, layers, mares, 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 cares. Huh. Not quite seeing it yet. Senesses. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, really, only one letter missing, and I still don't see it. Wizzes could be aces, like like people that are really good at things are wizzes or aces. More than skim through. So that's like deeply read or something. This could be God, no, heaven forbid. AO looks really bad, CD looks really bad, so I'm just gonna take that out. Occur could be happen. Um, you might callous them over time. Oh God, my spelling. Like I, I kind of want it to be that, but I'm, I'm wondering if, um, that's definitely how you spell the, the emotion, right? Like callous. Um, 
his debut album, Unseated Thriller, for the most speed, um, okay, um, I would think that would be Post Malone, um, his, his, uh, stuff was at the top of the charts forever, um, so Callus might be wrong here, um, Blast. But if this isn't Callus, that saved me from having to spell Callus. So that's good. Um, jumps out. You'd think S there. Maybe hops or something? This might be another S. Spots. Sets eyes on. Maybe? The letters look pretty solid here. Out could be like go away, maybe. Letters look okay. Maybe trod. Oh, you can get a yard of ale. That is a thing. Really, a yard of beer is the more common way of saying that. Magic wands. No, that doesn't quite fit. Um, this could be aloe, maybe? Props for some plagues. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna move on and I'll, I'll come back to that area. It does seem pretty promising though. Black or green grocery items. At first I was thinking like an avocado, um, something like that, but I don't think that's right. Slow growing ornament. I think it's some sort of plant. Okay. This does seem like I, I was trying to do aesthetic. <laughs> um, so it could be something tick. Um, I'm just going to leave that out for now, though. I was thinking maybe like wee hours of the morning. And manchego could be an used cheese. Like a, a sheep's milk. I don't know if this could be anything other than ages. Um, I just, I can't parse that, but... I don't know if there's any um, other word that works there. But I'll leave that out for now. Mooched. It does fit there. Um, I just can't think of what would... Oh, this could be fens instead of bogs. Same word, or same, different word for the same thing, I, for the most part at least. Mooched off instead of mooched off of. Okay. Has with arms. Okay. All right, that's, that's pretty good. Forever young fan. Oh, I'm not going to know that. Um... Maybe I'll recognize it once we get some more letters. High degree. A master's degree, so it was sort of like a PhD, and then tick. Uh, aesthetic, maybe? Um, not with the A, like like an aesthetician. Um, s 
sleeping in, still not up. Jump on board on a skateboard, and Ollie is a jump. Alpha something? Michael Che, he's on SNL, yeah. Um, horror movie franchise. Still don't know that. Maybe Olga, that's a name that fits. Olga Tokerchuk. Um, yeah, you know, they're both sort of Slavic names, so I feel fairly good about that. This could be Fly, maybe, eh. Puts one and one together, but it's a question mark. Okay, just if it's plural, is there anything other than wets? There's webs, there's weds. Yeah, yeah, weds, like in a wedding, you put two people together, I guess. Window pane, I guess, pairs, weakish hands. Weakish hands, oh, yeah, it is a poker thing. Just a single pa pair. I mean, sometimes a single pair is very strong in heads-up play, but I don't expect a mere crossword constructor to know such intricacies of the game of poker. Um, okay. I was going through all the downs, and then I got um, <laughs> distracted. Where was I? Let's see. Alpha, yeah, I still don't know that, but... Alpha seems like a good start for a band name. More than skim through. Go deep on. This could be pros. This could be awards. Props, as in like a recognition. Maybe OB awards. I guess it's an instrument, the oboe. Pomona College, yeah, that's a um, California college. Uh, poets, plod instead of trod. Um, okay. So that's all looking good. I'm gonna come back to this area, but I still <laughs> want to get through all the downs eventually. Um, more than skim through. Okay. The particulars could be the deets, like the details. Um, Arthur Ashe Stadium, um, that's in New York, I believe. Um, green or black tees, I guess. Game introduced by Chinese Im immigrants. Not sure. Uh, this could be orcs. Orcs are evil in World of Warcraft, I guess. Video game customization. Hmm, no clue. Fore and aft, like before and after, um, but also on a ship. All right. This could be something day, actually, now that I think about it. Although why? Hmm, not really feeling it. This could be Maltese something. Maybe just dog, Maltese dog, Maltese cat. Maybe it's just the. Ooh, Ari Shapiro. That would work. Um, the Nile. Oh, murder on the Nile. I did mention that at the beginning. Um. 
one standing by a door. This could be bleh. A door jam. Juneteenth, okay. Uh, you know, celebrating end of slavery. Improved as the weather. Could be <laughs> nice, nice, <laughs> nicened. Um, oh, nicer. The weather got nicer. Um, Maltese cat, then. Super popular, hot, that makes sense. Work as your trade and a real name, I guess? Sure, you don't assume a real name. Don't quite understand that, but I'm sure it's fine. Struggling to see that one, but... Something dead. Evil dead. Has with on. Dines on? Yeah, yeah, like has to eat, dines on. Okay. Alphaville could make sense here, and then fly folds pleads. Lid <laughs> moves with pleats. Yeah, yeah, pleats in a skirt, and then flit. Yeah, flit around like a like a butterfly. Um, slow growing, and then move to. Okay, making very good progress. More than skim through. Just taking a quick look. Um, see if there's anything obvious I'm missing. Okay. And orcs doesn't need to be right. So I actually kind of want to take that out. Okay. Torn could be like indecisive, maybe. On the fence. Yeah, there we go. Um, square things. It's probably S here. Huh. Not seeing it though. And then orcs fits here again. Slow growing ornamental. Yeah, I still don't quite know what that means. Customization, though. It's like your avatar, but it's the concept of video game customization. Hmm. Maybe just stop here. Um, take a peek. Letters look pretty good. Um, okay, what game? Like, clearly this needs to be a vowel, so. Not 
not quite seeing it. Okay, can I get this one maybe? More than skim through. <laughs> Ponder pun. Hmm. Okay, what could this start with? Um, any vowel or Maybe an H for CH or an L. Square things. Okay, what if this was an S? Um, who? Um, square things. This might mean to like square things up, so it could be like something around evening. Pulse. <laughs> Trying to. This just seems somehow off. This G here just doesn't feel right for some reason. Blast. Okay, let me just look at everything. I'll just look at every letter, see if anything jumps out at me. Um, no, maybe not. Um, There's a lot of things here. Not seeing it. Just looking for inspiration, you know? Yeah, not not seeing it there. Um What's the rub? Is that a thing people say? I don't think so. <laughs> um, okay, all right. Have to go into actual deep think mode. Okay, what TV bars are there? You know, there's the one in Cheers. I think that was called Cheers. <laughs> there's, uh, and health code violations. I feel like I would remember a show with that if I had watched it. Oh, Moe's Tavern. It's not peak, so it's not stop. Okay. There we go. Take a... Well, we'll come back to that. Square things. A tone. A mod for a video game. 
uh, cause we had desert something maybe. Yeah, it's gotta be desert something. Um, is Kino a game? I think it might be. Okay, okay, I heard you. Take a knee. Desert Rose. Pour over. Uh, okay, what's the... I want it to be something like Harden, you know? Corson. Get more coarse. Disruptive board move. Ouster? <laughs> Ouster, like that. Like a board of directors. What's the use? And then blast gas, I guess. All right. <laughs> there we go. That is a sub 30 Saturday. Um, yeah, before I go ahead and admire the puzzle, there's something that needs to be done, as you probably know if you're a longtime viewer. Um, I even have it, like, kind of on speed dial here. And there you have it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Um, yeah, sort of from the beginning, I had pretty high hopes that I would enjoy this puzzle, and they were not dashed in the slightest. Um, just looking at this grid, it is just sort of like custom made to have as much long to medium fill as possible. Um, just like every single uh, corner of the grid has these nice, very long stacks of um, three long answers, and then on the sides you even get um, some like medium length answers uh, as well. And it's just very easy to sort of like travel from one part of the grid to another. Um, so you get these sort of like wide passageways. Uh, this is a little narrow, but this is a very wide passageway. Um, and you also get like multiple entry points. Um, you can imagine like, if this were not here somehow, um, if this were, like, blocked off, then it would feel a lot tighter. But because we have these two different ways to plug into the bottom, um, the bottom and this area sort of interact with each other nicely. And that's what you saw, actually, right near the end. I had quite a lot of trouble sort of coming up with this, but once I did... Um, oh, and this is from The Simpsons, if you're not aware. Um, but once I did, I was able to really quickly... Um, take that progress and transition it into progress in this other area I was struggling with, um, which is sort of like a fun solving experience. Um, everything sort of feels connected. Um, progress in one area feels worthwhile for other things that you might be struggling on. Um, so I, I really enjoyed that. Um, it's the reason not every crossword puzzle looks like this is simply because it's really hard to construct something like this. Um, the more the other the areas interact, the more constraints you have when when filling out the grid. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoyed this. Um, you know, I, I I think I would say if we're talking about like the best stack of um, three, it's probably got to be. Well, honestly, you know, this is quite a solid stack. Um, Juneteenth, Ari Shapiro, Maltese Cab. That's pretty creative and fresh. OB Awards Post Malone um, sets eyes on, also really solid, you know, like, and then Moe's Tavern on the Fence Desert Roads, also a great contender. This is probably the weakest stack, but it, like, <laughs> it's still good. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really impressed with this uh, puzzle. There really wasn't a ton of super obscure anything, right? Like, sure, there's some power pronouns here and there, but, you know, this is pretty obscure Olga Toker Chuck. Um, but Olga is like a regular name, you know, there's nothing, and you're able to be like, you know, Olga sort of matches with Tokerchuk. It's not something that's like 
you would have no way of filling it in if you didn't like have the crosses. Um, and in fact, I did fill this in before I had all the crosses. Um, yeah, wow. I'm, I'm super, super impressed with this puzzle. I had a fun time solving it. It was a little easy, um, but not like distractingly so. Um, you know, I liked the cluing around, like this organization that has more members in Africa than in the Mideast. I like these sorts of clues, at least for a Saturday, um, because it's sort of like a, a knowledge, but also learning question. Um, so it's a knowledge question in the sense that you need to know that OPEC exists, I guess. Um, and also that you would expect OPEC to have a lot of Mideastern countries, but then you learn something cool, which is, hey, <laughs> I guess there's more African countries in OPEC than Middle Eastern countries. Kind of interesting. Um, clever cluing around here, you know, you get nice um, these poet stuff, you get nice cross-reference stuff, like the Nile um, here being clued like that, you know, you got your laced croc cross, which I thought was cute. Um, man, what, what a lovely puzzle. I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10, um, because it's great. I think it's a great puzzle. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.